are in focus because I haven't used this bamboo stick to focus my camera since you guys are a ways away from me. But we're in my kitchen today for the video and I'm excited because it's meal prep day here in the dollhouse and I love meal prepping. If you guys watch my vlogs, you know that I do this pretty often just because it's really easy to stay on track when it comes to eating really good healthy meals. It's quick, you just have to go ahead and reheat them and then enjoy it when you're ready to sit down and have your meal. So today, we are doing a couple of different protein choices. Of course, I always meal prep with chicken. And I ran out to the market yesterday, last night. So I got all of this stuff fresh for the week. And we have here boneless, skinless, thinly sliced chicken breast. It's 1.27 pounds. So you still get a good amount of chicken, but it cooks super fast in the oven. And I find personally that it's easier to separate within our containers here. So of course you're going to need containers. If you've never meal prepped before, or if you've never seen any of my meal prepping, then welcome to the first session, I guess, for you. But um, these containers I picked up from Target, and you can get different style containers. The ones that I have are divided. So you have a big compartment here, which is where I usually put my protein choice and my veggies. And then you have two smaller compartments over here for your side dishes. So these are really great. I do recommend them and they're not too expensive. So for meal prepping, as often as I do, I find that these are very like costly effective. So I love those. And our other protein choice, which I'm excited to throw in this week is shrimp. So I have a pound of raw, peeled and detailed shrimp here, which we are going to cook up. I'm very interested to see how the shrimp is going to do in the fridge for three days. Um, if you overcook shrimp, it can be a little bit rubbery, so that's my only concern when it comes down to that. But I really wanted to go ahead and mix in a seafood source. This is the organic broccoli here. And these are shaved Brussels sprouts. I thought that these would be a super quick Brussels sprout version instead of getting them in the whole head um, for meal prepping. It'll definitely cut down the time of prep. And our last green veggie here is just French style green beans, my personal favorite. I don't like to overcook my veggies, so you guys will see my little tip when we get to that within the video. And to keep this very cost effective, I'm just gonna stick with brown rice. But my oven right now is preheating to 375 degrees, and we are going to start with the chicken since that takes the longest amount of time to cook. So I need to prep this by washing it and then I cut off the excess fat. I don't like fat on my chicken. It doesn't taste good, it doesn't even look cute. So we are going to be doing that. And I also have here my glass baking dish, which is what I like to bake my chicken in once it goes in the oven. So our chicken is nice and clean. It's free of that you know, chicken slime, I would say. I don't like the feeling of having that slimy goop on your chicken when you take it freshly out of the package. I like to switch up my seasonings every time because I get really sick of eating the same flavored chicken every single day. So some of my favorite seasonings to use are Mrs. Dash, and you can find these at Target, grocery stores, Walmart, wherever you go to get your food. Um, but these are great because they don't have all that sodium inside, so you can really add flavor without having the bloating. We're gonna use a little bit of olive oil, and there is a little bit of water in this pan from washing the chicken, but that's totally fine because it's going to keep in that moisture while the chicken bakes in the oven. But we're also going to add some lemon juice to this. I would totally recommend using fresh lemons, which is what I typically use, but I don't have any fresh lemon. I just had this. Uh, but fresh is always best. Um, and then today, I think for our chicken, I'm gonna go ahead and use the onion and herb, uh, salt-free Mrs. Dash seasoning which I've never tried this. I actually just picked this up from the market. I do want to flip this over and season the other side. I do get sick of eating the same thing sometimes, so I will kind of add in different things throughout the day. I'll have fruit in between my meals. I will do smoothies in between. I love salads. You guys know that I'm like obsessed with salads. Um, so I do a lot of salads as well in addition to these meals that you guys are going to see today. So I'm going to throw this in the oven right now so that can cook. Now that the chicken's in the oven, we can start on the veggies. I really don't cook my vegetables. This is what I was saying earlier. When it comes down to prepping them, I like my veggies to be crisp. Ugh. My dog just peed on the floor. Blood. 
If I cook them beforehand and then re-microwave them, I find that my veggies tend to be soggy and mushy and then I just want to enjoy my meals. So I just basically throw them in my containers raw. And that is my little trick of having fresh veggies every single time. So I have my green beans and these come with these little stems on the ends. I don't like that. So this is a little bit annoying and time consuming, but I cut those off. Awesome, our chicken has 11 minutes left and I have three meals with green beans in them. A nice little bed of greens. So I'm gonna start by turning my skillet on just to get it hot. And I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil for flavor. nice the fact that they are already shredded up for us ready to go I like this I don't really even know if I want to do broccoli since I've been eating broccoli every single day anyway so if we have enough Brussels sprouts I think we're just gonna stick with that that would be awesome it's time to cook the shrimp and actually we can start doing the rice as well since we have quite a bit of that to prepare but these are great you guys know I swear by these they're so great if you're in a time crunch but I like them because I'm terrible at cooking rice and I also don't have a rice cooker. So if you guys have a rice cooker and if you like it, let me know if I should definitely invest. So basically you just cook it for three minutes in the microwave and it's done. I really like the brown rice. The whole grain is also really good. I've tried the quinoa, which is also really great as well. Um, but they have a great variety over at Trader Joe's. So definitely look into that if you are looking for something quick for your meal preps. But for the shrimp, I'm just going to clean out my skillet really fast because we're going to need this. really love a good lemon pepper shrimp. So I have this lemon pepper grinder which we're going to use. We're also going to use some of that lemon juice. lunches and dinners and our options include Brussels sprouts with chicken and brown rice we also have here the shrimp with the green beans and brown rice and then I alternated one dish with the Brussels sprouts shrimp and brown rice and as you can see there's only three shrimp dishes which is great because I feel like I'm gonna eat these first so that way they'll taste a lot fresher and you know it's seafood that's kind of iffy but those are our meals we can go ahead and put the lids on them so 